Hey guys, um, can I just say this display is really cool. It's right in front of um, Event Cinema uh, in Gold Class in Sydney. Now, I don't know if you can tell by my outfit and what I'm standing in front of. You can probably tell what I have literally just walked out of. Hunger Games, The Ballad of Song and Snakes. Um, and I have to say, I have not read the novel to this. So I went in here, I went in pretty spoiler free. And thankfully, um, I think it worked in my favor. And I think this really does show snow in much more of a favorable light. I can't believe I just said that. So it's pretty much between these two, Lucy Gray, and Cornelius Snow, who we have already met. He was, of course, President Snow, and we see a lot of his backstory and sort of how he became the single prick that we uh, meet in the first Hunger Games. You see a lot of that sort of um, um, beginnings of what made him turn from what we see here to what we see in the Hunger Games. Um, but I wouldn't say he's the actual villain of this movie. Spoiler alert, I would say these two. Of course, we already know Peter already has that sort of a edge to him if you've sat through his um, X-Men uh, X Men prequel work. And then Viola Davis is a treat. Of course, I know Viola from a few different pictures. She is an absolute delicious piece of work. And I think they've cast this really well. And the cynic, or the host, is actually a swordsman. Specifically, Jason Swartzman, who I believe, I actually know his cousin, Nicolas Cage. So, um, this felt really like, well, we see a lot of the elements we see in the um, original four movies, original three books, I should say, including the um, Codacopia, which is very, very, um, different um where this was like made for like every year and i'm assuming after the 10th which is what this is based around the 10th um hung um 10th hunger games that it changed to every year it's a new facility which we did see two of the hunger games um i'm just showing you the rest of it um, already in it, we saw, saw Katniss's and then the 75th. So, assuming it's the 74th and the 75th. Um, I think we really do see a lot of um, elements, and when we eventually get to the districts, specifically District 12. We um, do see a lot of recognisable um, locations, like we see the forest, which is where Katniss and um, Gail would have um, hunted nearly 50 years later. Um, and we see um, <coughs> we see um, the square where we see the reaping, which is slightly um, different, but we assume after about 
60, 60, 60, 70 years that the, um, cool poster. Um, so we do see a lot of those um, elements, which, as someone who has seen the original four, was very, very well, I would say, handled, and I think, I would say... If you go in and read the novel, I think you might get a bit of unnecessary baggage, but you might get a better feel for the story. I hadn't read, I, I'm missing two of the books. Well, now I'm missing one. I did pick up this one um, before I turned up here. Um, and it's gonna be on my reading list. I got a few books that are on my reading list. Um, but I think you could go in completely, um, completely without it, just seeing the original, the original movies and um, see a lot of touch zones um, that you would know from the movies you are aware of and really enjoy it um so yeah that's my review of hunger games the ballad of some birds and snakes now ironically guess what poster is right near this thing which i think is pretty darn funny Look what, is that? Look what I'm saying. See? Five Nights at Freddy's, which you know I've already reviewed on this channel. I think it's funny that within not even five minutes of each other, I think that's a little funny. <laughs> So if you sat through either one of those movies, but specifically Catching Fire, well, Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, please let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I can't believe that the blackout has officially lifted and I can start talking about films again. Whew. That was a stressful for months. Ciao.